itself. And each of these stories can be the story of any one of us. So let's enter now the door. The first door is the sacred door of Palm Sunday. Okay, notice the contrast. What will happen, what is going to happen this Sunday is the one there, Jesus riding on a donkey, and then people will be chanting a praise. And then on Good Friday, the same crowd that is shouting Hosanna will be shouting a different tune. And they will say, crucify him, crucify him. <coughs> Crucify him. On this coming Sunday, we will be waving the palm, you know, and you will be given each a palm. And the and the and the significance of the palm when that palm gets blessed and when that palm gets raised, you know, what we are saying is, Lord, save us. Is there anything that we want the Lord to save us at this particular moment of our life? Is there something who are sick among your relatives that you want the Lord to save? And so when we say that palm, it is not a mere raising of the palm and then we bring home the palm. There is a prayer that goes with it. This is very powerful, and that is testing the power of Jesus who saves, because Jesus came into the world to save us, not only of our sins, but everything that we do face in life, one of which is sickness. The other thing is broken relationship, and the other thing is that which concerns us. Whatever this hands creates, it will be a success. Because we believe that our hand is guided by the Lord. And so when we wave the palm, it is, it is Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Or, Lord, as I wave this palm, I remember those people who need to be saved. Lord, I am drowning. Lord, I am at the point where I am beginning to question your power. Save me, Lord, before I drown. Lord, I am beginning to lose my faith. Before it happens, Lord, save me. The saving that Jesus will have to do through his passion and his death. So that is the tone of Palm Sunday, no? praising Jesus, no? glorifying Jesus, hailing Jesus as the Savior, no? which is true that Jesus saves, Jesus redeems, but it will take a different form by which Jesus will do the saving. Because the understanding of the Jews is when, when the King of the Jews, or that is why Jesus has been hailed as King of the Jews, is that Jesus will save by way of force, by way of military force, by killing all those who oppose the Jewish religion. Don't delay it. If there is any reconciliation that has to happen, it has to come now. That is the meaning of my hour has come. You cannot delay anymore. If there is any reconciliation among family members, it has to come now. That, because that is the purpose by which God wants to meet with you today. Reconcile. If there are any plans that you have been postponing, like a sick person, you know, and you have been postponing, it has to be done now. What the Lord is telling us, what you can do today, do it today. Don't do it. Don't anymore postpone it. My hour has come. Your hour.
to reconcile, to talk to each other, has to be now. That is what Jesus meant, meant by my hour has come. <laughs> and that is why even in the house you place the palm and where do you place the palm you also put it in your window in your uh, room no your bedroom because the evil spirit is there <laughs> you also put it in the sala because some evil spirit is also hovering around the sala, sitting the, seated with the, the newspaper, watching the TV, you know, while you are working, you know, the evil spirit here. You know. So, God, and when you put the palm in front of the, the door of your house as you enter, it means you're saying to those entering and to those who do not know, the king of this house is Jesus. Amen. The king of this house is Jesus. My husband, he is a servant. <laughs> now, back to these two pictures. Hail, hail, king of the Jews. And then on Good Friday, crucify him, crucify him. Fickle mindedness. Nagbabago yung isip. Bakit ang babaw? Bakit ang babaw? Bakit may mga taong ganyan? Ang babaw. Why is why did God create people like that? Who are fickle mindedness? When that person has some needs, oh, we are friends. Who are your best friends? Who is my best friend? Because you do something that that person needs. Yes, exactly. But when you are the one in need now, uh, can I borrow money? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't have money. But you look at the packet, it's full, fake. Cake. And sometimes that do happen in life. When things get worse, they said you will know the real person when you are in deep need. And when you are in deep need, you will know the real color of the person comes out when that person is in deep need. so busy and so what Jesus said to the centurion go home and then the centurion said Lord please only say the word and my servant shall be healed remember that yes. and we say that at communion no Lord I'm not worthy to enter under your roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed you know? and the same is true with what Jesus said to the centurion Whose son is whose son is sick, and then he asked Jesus, Lord, kahit salita mo na lang, no? Only say the word, and my servant shall be healed. And so he went home, and even he, before he reached home, no? at the very time when Jesus said, "Go home, your servant is healed," exactly that same moment. The servant was healed. And Jesus does not have to go to the place to perform the miracle. Even uttering the word is, was more than enough to, for the healing to take place. Who benefited you know, from the healing of Jesus are the same persons who were shouting, crucify him. Or even without shouting, they were just healed. And when Jesus was being tried, by Pilate, they did not even utter a word and say, this man is innocent. And yet, Jesus performed a lot of miracles for them. 
How is it possible that recipients of our generosity, those whom we prayed for healing, no, I do not know how much Hong Kong dollars we spent no, uh, in the church, no, praying for healing of this person. Actually, it's not for you, it's for your friend. No, When that person was, was in need financially, you lend money to that person. No, And other favors, no, they can also become your enemies and can even put you down. Exactly. And can even spread words that are not true against you. And yet, they benefited a lot from you. I always tell this to people and and yesterday in my in my recollection with another group of Filipinos, I was telling them, you know, sometimes there are crosses that you don't have to bear yourself. You have your own crosses. And yet you bear the cross of other people. Why do you have to bear their cross? Hindi ka nga nag-asawa para hindi ka maghirap. Tapos, you are the one to, 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 to pay for the education of your nephews and nieces. Why? Sobrang bahin. And then you complain that you don't have money. And then when you, you, you complain, when it's time for you to return. Do they help me? It's 4 o'clock. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. <laughs> He's speaking, yes. But it's, it, we still need, no? We still need, even just on our birthday, or siguro pati in time pag namatay na tayo, <laughs> pag dones ati. <laughs> But you want to speak in, no? Pagpataba ng puso, no? When somebody appreciates you or recognizes you, all the more, you help. Because it is appreciated, no? But nowadays, it looks like it's not part of the vocabulary of the young people. Yes. Or even your sisters or your brothers.